Hi friends! Today is going to be the TBR takedown for the month of July. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my unread physical TBR down from a really high number down to something manageable, probably close to 50. I started out July with 129 books. We will go over the books that I hauled, very quickly go over the books that I read, and any DNFs or unhauls that I had, and then we'll get you a new number at the end. So as I said, the first number on the board shall be 129, and let's get started. So the first three books we're going to talk about are books that I picked up from my local indie. I wanted to order Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno because I read this last month and really enjoyed it. This book follows Georgina and Mary, twin sisters who live on this island, where they every year get this one special bird that comes to their island and they get all of these like tourists, they call them bird heads, that come every year and they stay at their family's inn and they're very important to the family and also Georgina and Mary have magic. Well, Mary has magic at least. It's a super fun, romancy, magical, whimsical. It was just a very good book and I highly recommend it. Also on that trip I picked up Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. I don't know what this one is about but it was the book club pick for Wheatberry Books this month which I also missed the book club for and did not read it yet so there's that. But I did support my local indie by purchasing the book at least. Uh, I'm gonna really try to get back to in-person book club meetings. It's a thing I'm gonna try to do. No promises, but I'm gonna try. But also, I know this is like an adult romance, so I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Speaking of book clubs, the last book I picked up at Wheatberry this month was The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I don't know why, but I had like a hiccup in the middle of that sentence. Anyway, this is the July-August pick for the AuthorTube chat book club, so I will definitely be reading this this month because I have to read it by the end of this month so that Kate and I can have a conversation about it. I don't know a whole lot about this one either, but I know it has to do with elemental witches. We're going on a witchy theme here. I then went shopping with my friends and stopped at a Barnes and Noble and in my perusement of going I don't need any of these. I have way too many unread books anyway. I happened to see this spine sticking out that says a wicked magic and it's purple so I turned it and found this gorgeous purple cat creepy cover and I went hmm must have this book from what I can tell follows two people who kind of cast some sort of a spell to give themselves magic to make themselves into witches and the magic kind of has a mind of its own and some really creepy things end up happening. Uh, sounds like one of their friends ends up getting taken away by a monster that's created by the magic. But what really sold me on this one is this last paragraph that says, set in the atmospheric wilds of California's northern coast, Sasha Lorenz's eerie debut novel is about the complications of friendship, taking back power and embracing the darkness that lurks within us all. And if you know anything about your girl, you know that that was enough to sell me on this book. Plus that purple cat on the cover. But anyway, it may not even be a cat. It may be like a creepy monster thing, but it kind of looks like a purple cat. It's probably the villain, but I'm okay with that because have you met Merlin? She is always the villain. Anyway, picked this up. Witches, magical, spooky. I'm gonna need this for October. Also speaking of witches, I did a really bad thing. So I know that there's like this big boss battle coming up in the Avengers Initiative Breeding Challenge. It's this challenge I've been doing all year. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Um, but I've been doing this challenge and I know that there's some boss battles coming up and I know that short books are conducive for boss battles because if you have to read like a certain page number, graphic novels are great for that. So my brain was like, well, you really like the witch graphic novels. You should buy the next part of that graphic novel series. Now if you're not familiar with which graphic novels they are both broken down by parts and then volumes but then they also have an overall number. So like this is which part three A Crisis on Both Worlds volume one. There's also a volume two and volume three in this part but it's also overall number seven. So I knew that I had moved the next three volumes of the next part into my Amazon cart 
because I knew that like, I had read so many, however many, and so I bought the next three books, which was these three, and then brought them home and realized, actually, these are books 10, 11, and 12. I needed 7, 8, and 9. And like, I can't just read these without reading 7, 8, and 9, so then I had to go buy 7, 8, and 9. I mean, had to, <laughs> clearly. So now I have 7 through 12 that I haven't read. Like, first off, I know that these are like mid-grade witches and there's not really like a whole lot going on, but they're gorgeous. Like, together, this series on your shelf is fucking gorgeous. I already have six. I thought for some reason I had nine, but then I was like, but that doesn't seem like enough. And I'm like, but no, those are what you have in your Amazon cart, so those should be the next three that you need. I was very wrong, but now I have six to read. So I am ready for boss battles with high page counts. Or just, you know, 31 books in 31 days in October, as we know I tend to do. So these are the books that I hauled. This is probably one of the biggest hauls I've had all year. It's not even that big. I've been doing really good. Now let's talk about the books that I read. I will not be discussing these in full depth. If you want to know any of my thoughts on these, I will link in the description box down below as well as in the cards. My wrap up for the month, that's where you can find all this information. I just like to go over them in this video so that we can accurately do math together. A Darker Shade of Magic by B. E. Schwab, which was a reread, so it doesn't count. The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth, which was a library borrow, so it doesn't count. Slingshot by Mercedes Helmlin, which was an arc, so it doesn't count. The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. Medusa by Rosie Hewlett. A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Rosanne Brown. And of course, Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard. Also, don't want to forget, Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. Also, also don't want to forget Bewitch, which was a library borrow, so it doesn't count. That's all of them. I believe if my math serves me correctly, that's five books that do count. The rest do not. I also have two unhaul slash DNFs. So two DNFs. Um, the first is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I got to about page 80 of this, which I think was only like maybe 10 or 15% of this. It's a it's a chunky boy. Also, DNF this month, Lifeblood by Gina Showalter. This is the second book in the Everlife series. Yeah, Everlife. So we started with 129. I purchased nine books this month. I read five. I DNF'd two, which would leave us at 131 books for the end of July. This is the first month in a long time that our our numbers actually went up at the end of the month. To be fair, I probably wouldn't have without the witch books throwing me off, but it is what it is. I It's still not terrible. I didn't go up by a lot. I have a lot of arcs to get to in August, so I know that um, August isn't gonna be a great month either for going down, but October's gonna kill. So I'm, I'm looking forward to October when I can just like absolutely kill it. But um, you know, we are where we are. We're at 131. It's better than where we started out at. It's way better than where we started out in, I believe the beginning of 2019 when we had 240 books. So no complaints from me on that part for the most part. I don't think there's a lot of books left on my shelves, my unread shelves that are books that I'm not sure that I actually want to read. There definitely are still some because I went through a phase where I just bought everything that people recommended to me on booktube in 2018 and I just bought all the things and was obsessed with Book Outlet who I don't recommend to anybody anymore at all and I do not use anymore so I bought a lot of like cheap discounted books and would buy like 30 40 books at a time and and I had to learn to curb my purchasing habits which is also why we are where we are now doing TBR takedown it's been it's been a ride y'all so I do hope to get to, my goal for the end of this year is to be under 100 and then next year to get it down to 50. And I think 50 is manageable, like forever. Cause I feel like as a mood reader, like that gives me a good variety of things, I think. I don't know, I'm just like babbling at this point, trying to make myself feel better about going up again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books that I have read or 
um, the books that I hauled this month or whatever else uh, you want to talk about. That's why we're here is to talk about things. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, my heart is so hard.